Hi, I'm Tom Sokolovsky. I'm a nutritional therapist and a nutrigenetics counsellor. I'd like to tell you today about 10 ways in which stress affects your gut. Now the gut is about the size of a badminton court if you lay it out flat. It has lots of folds and bends and turns to make it a very large surface area. That's because it's designed to absorb some things and keep out other things. You could compare it to a fine mesh, letting in certain things and keeping other things out. But what can happen with stress is that you can get holes in this mesh. So particles you don't want coming in, like protein fragments that haven't been broken down properly, enter your bloodstream and cause a reaction from your immune system because it's not meant to be there. A second thing that can happen is that your immune messengers, molecules called immunoglobulins, drop in number when you're stressed. So there's much less of them in the gut. So you get bacterial and yeast infections building up and they release toxins and they cause more holes in the mesh, more problems. Another thing that can happen with stress is you lose a vital nutrient called glutamine. It's an amino acid, comes from protein, and the cells of your gut need it. If they don't have it, again, you get holes in the gut. They don't regenerate. The cells in your gut regenerate and replace every three to four days. So if this doesn't happen, you get holes in the gut. More problems. Now in your gut, you have two molecules of protein that bind iron. This stops bacteria and yeast getting it and feeding from it and helps you get hold of it. When you're stressed, the stress hormones bind to these molecules and the bacteria and yeast get it and they multiply and cause havoc in your gut. Now also, bacteria change anyway in your gut when you're stressed. You get more bad bacteria and less good bacteria. You also get sensitivity to pain building up. This, you can see this in irritable bowel syndrome. People get cramping and sensitivity. Also, stress affects your motility, the way your gut moves through, through your system and the way it moves bacteria out of your system when you're not eating. Stress slows all this down because it's controlled by neurotransmitters, the same neurotransmitters in the brain you may have heard of serotonin, the happy neurotransmitter, dopamine, which is about reward and pleasure. 90% or maybe 95% of serotonin is actually created in your gut. So you can see the connection. Now if you're running from a tiger, you won't want to be spending a lot of energy digesting food. So it all goes wrong. You don't produce enough stomach acid. Stomach acid is meant to kill bacteria and yeast. It's meant to stimulate enzymes in your intestines to digest food. It's meant to stimulate bicarbonates to make enzymes work by giving them the right environment. It's meant to stimulate bile to make fat soluble so you can digest fat. And bile is also antibacterial. So if your stomach acid isn't working and none of these secretions are coming out, there's no enzymes, there's no bicarbonates, no bile or low quantities, the whole system's thrown into chaos. Now also, if you're running from a tiger, you're gonna want your blood and your muscles to give oxygen and nutrients there. So if you're under stress, the nutrients aren't getting to your gut. And as I've said before, the gut needs to replenish its cells every three to four days. If they aren't, you get holes in that sieve again that cause a lot of problems, as I've already described. And one more thing happens with stress. You lose nutrients like magnesium and zinc, B vitamins. Zinc is very important for healing the gut, for repairing it, and keeping it whole, keeping these holes away, so it's all working fine. So to summarise, 10 points, 10 ways in which the gut is affected by stress. One, the stress hormones directly create holes in your gut, leaky guts. Two, your immunoglobulins, your first line of immune defence in your gut, decrease in number massively. Three, you lose glutamine, the main fuel for the cells in your gut. Four, the iron is eaten by bacteria and yeast 
because it's no longer bound to the molecules that are meant to bind it. Five, you get very sensitive to pain. You might get cramping. Six, bacteria build up and cause more problems and toxins to be released. Seven, your gut doesn't move so well, so food doesn't move through and bacteria aren't cleared out. Eight, you don't produce stomach acid and therefore enzymes and bile and bicarbonates to make the whole system work properly. Nine, blood doesn't go to your gut to replenish the cells, so you get holes in the gut again. And ten, you lose nutrients that are vital for keeping the gut in shape and repairing the gut. And all kinds of stress cause this. It's not just emotional stress. Anything that raises stress hormones in your body is a form of stress. And what raises stress hormones? Not eating properly, eating bad quality food, toxins from the environment, emotional stress obviously, overworking, even too much exercise causes stress and leaky gut. Anorexics have leaky gut because they restrict calories. Dieting is a form of stress. Drugs cause the release of stress hormones. Not sleeping enough causes the release of stress hormones. So all of these have a massive effect on the gut. And so I hope you have some understanding that stress has a really huge impact on the health of your gut. Thanks for listening. I hope you found it interesting.